AR is the future. If you don't know what AR is, it means augmented reality. And what that really means is taking virtual objects, interfaces, and experiences and overlaying them over reality in real time. So there's a few augmented reality and virtual reality devices out on the market today. You may have heard of the Meta Quest, formerly known as Oculus, and also Apple just released their Vision Pro, which is supposed to be a spectacular augmented reality experience. Well, these devices cost a little bit of money, so if you're not willing to spend that, you're not out of luck. These devices that are in your pocket most likely have AR capabilities. So this is a 3D printing channel, right? So why are we talking about AR? Well, I think I have a few use cases where we could use AR to save time in our 3D modeling and 3D printing experiences. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you two different augmented reality experiences that will be helpful when you're going through the adventure of 3D modeling and 3D printing. The first form of AR that we're gonna go over just uses this device that's in your pocket. So it's available to you know, a huge range of people that are probably watching this video. And then the second one, we're gonna be looking at a VR slash AR device. I have an Oculus Quest 2. And I'll show you some things that will blow your mind, like some serious Tony Stark shit. So let's talk about an example scenario. As of filming today, it is five days before Valentine's Day. And for an example, I wanna make a vase for my wife for her flowers that I'm gonna get her. So I designed this simple vase in Fusion and I kind of just took a guess on what the dimension should be. I made it six inches tall, I made it four inches wide, but who knows what that actually is gonna look like. So I finished the design, I put it in my slicer and it says it's gonna take 13 hours to print this vase out. And I don't even know if I'm gonna like it or if it's the right size. And it's gonna use 259 grams of filament, which is pretty much a quarter of a normal roll of filament. So what can we do to make sure that we're gonna like this before we print it? This is where we use augmented reality. We're gonna go back to Fusion. We're gonna export this model as a USDZ file format. What does that mean? Who knows? But the Apple devices all support that file format for AR type experiences. Well, unfortunately I wanted to go downstairs to show this demo, but my son is sleeping down there, so I'm not gonna go wake him up. But I sent the USDZ file to my iPhone and I'm going to open that now. And as you can see, it opens it up in AR mode and I can point at my desk here and you can see that it places the model on the desk and you can do whatever you want. You can look inside of it, you can shine a light at it and it is just overlaid very seamlessly into reality and it is sized appropriately. So you can use this to determine is this exactly what I want before I go about printing it? You can also scale it and it tells you how much you're scaling. So here, I just scaled it to 200%. And if that's what I want, then I can go into my slicer and I can put it to 200% and this is what's gonna come out of the printer. So here's another example. I have an e-brake that I designed for my computer racing setup. And if you wanna see a video on that, that was actually my previous video. But I just sent the model assembly over in that USDZ format and I could check it out fully in 3D space and I could set it to AR mode and I can actually set it on the desk and look inside of it. I can look at every component before I even print it. You know, it shows me, am I gonna like this? You know, am I gonna like using this without printing one piece? So that experience might not blow your pants off, but it's something that you could do to try and save some plastic and save some time. Now, are you ready to see something that might actually blow your pants off? Before we get to that, I just wanna point out 98.5% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like the video, it does help a ton and it supports a small YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Now we're gonna hop over to me in the VR headset and we're gonna explore this app called Caddy, which just lets you do some Iron Man type stuff with 3D models. I've never recorded on my Quest before. 
Hopefully this turns out okay. I am sitting at the home screen of Caddy, and this is when things get awesome. First, let's start with a simple model. I have my disc golf disc that was PDGA approved. So I press that model button, and here is the model. If you can see that, the hand tracking is a little interesting right now because it's a little dark in the nursery here. But you can pick up and move your model around in virtual space, and it is just awesome. And then I can also grab it from both sides and scale it up. So if you're wondering what the profile of an extruder looks like, look at that. So cool. Everything is controllable with hand gestures. So I can take this model and scale it up. And then if I want to reset it back, I just make a diamond with my hands and then boom, the model was back again. Let's look at a more complex model. Here is my emergency brake that I designed, full with colors and materials and all. And now I can actually look at it and be like, you know, am I gonna like this? The other cool thing is this. I do that little symbol with my hand, and now I can pull the pieces off the assembly to take a full look at this model. So I could see all the internal components here. Let me pull the clamp off and the screw. Oh, I grabbed the base by accident. There's all the caps for the Raspberry Pi. I mean, it's incredible. Bring it back to normal. Blow it up. Show it huge. You know, we could talk about how does this thing work. Well, you pull the lid off. And then I could explain exactly how this works. You put a potentiometer in here, you pull on the handle, and it's going to spin the potentiometer, the Raspberry Pi will handle it. I mean, this is an incredible tool to show people your 3D models and just to see what they look like. In my e-brake video, I had an issue where I was pulling on the handle and it was causing some torque to pull up the end of the e-brake. So I could actually show you these forces in augmented reality. So I could tap my finger like that and now I can draw. I could say, okay, well I was pulling this handle back this way. And it's actually drawing in 3D space. And that force has to be linear. If you're pulling it down like this, it actually causes force up on this end. And I turn off my writing and you can see this hand was writing a little bit, but it's just, it's incredible. One last demo, this model is included with Caddy, but this is a Oculus Quest version three. And look at this. You can virtually explode the model and then you could pick out each individual piece. I mean, this is just incredible stuff. This makes you think that you are Iron Man. It's crazy. Everything just floats in free space. You can throw it, grab it. You can go like this. You can pull individual components off. Like, I don't want that headband anymore. And then I go back into assembly mode, and I can pick this piece and just look at it. I can scale it. It's, it's just awesome stuff. You can explode it. Boom. I mean, this is the coolest thing that I've ever seen using augmented reality. Now just letting you know, my surroundings are in black and white. That's because I have a Quest 2. The Quest 3 has color, and I'm sure the Quest Pro is even better, but you know, everything is pretty much out of my budget. But this technology is amazing. Well, I hope you learned something about some new technology today. Maybe you can integrate this into your 3D modeling and 3D printing process to save you some plastic and some time. Remember, if you like this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, 
Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you have any other ideas of how we could use this technology in our field. This stuff is awesome and you should go play with it. Thanks for watching.